How do medications and medical products make it to patients? It usually takes 10 to 15 years and $2.6 billion for a medical discovery to go through evaluation. The process starts in a laboratory with an idea and basic research with animals to validate the idea. Replacing animals fully in basic research, also known as discovery work, is a challenge because scientists cannot program cells and tissues in test tubes and petri dishes to do something that they do not understand. Non-clinical development of medical products, including drugs, biologics, and childhood vaccines, begins with constructing and testing drug compounds with biochemical assays and computer analysis. Drug compounds are further developed by humanely testing their effects with animals bred purposely for research. These animals are specific pathogen-free, which means they're raised in biosecure facilities to ensure they do not have any commonly occurring diseases. They're also sometimes genetically modified to model or mimic a specific disease. The medical products that successfully make it through these initial animal and non-animal steps, then go through additional animal testing to gauge their safety and to ensure they produce the intended effect. In the US, specialized veterinarians and trained animal care professionals provide the highest quality of care for research animals under strictly regulated animal procedures. Animals play a vital role in helping scientists assess a medical product's safety benefits and effectiveness before testing with humans. Ineffective and potentially harmful compounds are removed from the medical product development process thanks to non-clinical research and testing with animals and complementary methods. If all is on track, sponsors file an investigational new drug application with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration in order to proceed with testing the medical product in human clinical trials. About one in 1,000 compounds make it to human testing. Once allowed to proceed, phase one clinical trials start with typically healthy human volunteers. For those medical products that make it on to phase two clinical trials, people with the medical condition are enrolled to study safety and side effects. For the medical products that make it past phase two, Volunteers with the disease are monitored for adverse reactions and to make sure the drug or childhood vaccine works as intended in phase three clinical trials. Once the clinical studies have been completed, the product manufacturer submits a marketing application to the FDA seeking approval. FDA's scientific and medical experts evaluate the information in the marketing application to determine if the medical product's benefits outweigh its risks and if so, they approve it for use. Improved cancer treatments, better medications for heart disease patients, contraception options, and therapeutics and childhood vaccines for many diseases are developed as a result of this process. Without humane and responsible animal research, none of these, nor future cures or medications, would be possible. Because of these animals, we have drugs to treat human patients, and pet patients. That is why responsible animal research and testing are conducted for people, for animals, for the common good.